Hey guys, time for Tech here. Today I'm here with a video on variables. So when it comes to variables, they are quite important and you'll almost certainly use them if you're going to go into programming. In the beginning video, the last video where I teach you programming, there was a variable called var and var1. And you saw that adding them into strings where you can print them adds the contents of those strings. So what happens if you want to have a new string? So here you have var1, this is a var, short for variable, obviously, <laughs> var1 again. This replaces the var because it's the same name. So you have to be very careful because if you're going to try and have a new variable, you can't just put the same name and think that it can be both. I'm sure you've heard of arrays before. If not, this is the video for you to know about them. Now, in Python, they're not called arrays, they're called lists. But whatever you've called an array before in C, in Swift, in Java, JavaScript, whatever, it's just a list. So, yes, it's the same thing, it's just called a list for some reason. So, here is a variable, and I've got Lamborghini, Ferrari, Porsche, BMW, Audi, and Mercedes, some of my favorite car brands. Now, here's a variable where you can choose exactly what you want from that variable. And that's what you're going to learn in the next video too, about slicing strings and choosing your information from what you need. So here on line seven, you've got print cars zero. Now this is something in, uh, interesting. As you can see on this comment here at the bottom, indexes start from zero. So zero is Lamborghini, one is Ferrari, two is Porsche and so on. It'll take you a bit to get used to it like it did for me, but it's quite easy to get your, get the hang off. So again, like I said in the last video, the only thing that prints out onto the screen is print. These were just in examples of what a variable actually is, and here's what I'm going to print. So if you haven't run the program before, go up, click run, and click the run button. And then you choose your file that you've made called a variables. And then at the bottom, you can see here it prints Lamborghini. So it works as we expected it to. Now, what happens if you print something out of the index, let's say number 10. And as you can see, this is zero, one, two, three, four, five. So let's see what happens then. And now that you've run it, you can just go to the top right over here and click run variables. Now at the bottom here, it says trace back, blah, 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 in line seven, which is here, index error, list index out of range. So this is what I like about PyCharm. Even if you don't know that much about programming, it's kind of easy to understand the errors. Now it says list index out of range. This is an index, one, two, zero, 50, whatever. And it's out of range because as I said before, we only have zero, one, two, three, four, and five. And we're trying to do 10. 10 doesn't exist. This has no idea what 10 is. So let's go back to a number we have, five. We run the program and it says Mercedes. Now, this is something extra I'm going to give you. I will cover more of it in the next video. But let's try and do something like this. 3, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, BMW, colon, 5. So let's try and click Run. You see what it print is? prints? Prints BMW and Audi. Now, you might be wondering, why doesn't it print Mercedes? It's because it prints BMW, Audi, up to Mercedes. So it doesn't print Mercedes. This is completely gone from the equation. So three, two, five, not three and five. So be very careful when you're doing that. I still slip up on it. It's a very easy mistake to make. So zero, one, two, three, BMW. And we have BMW there. And then after three, you've got four, which is Audi here. And we've got Audi there. And five, we don't have. So if you want to do three, six, and we run, it shows Mercedes afterwards. Even though we don't have six in the index, it knows that you want to try and add Mercedes because that's the fifth one and it prints up to six. So that's the way to do it. You can even have a zero and a six like that and it will print your whole list in the bottom over here. So if you like that video, make sure you go and practice this code and have a few experiments. Go on Google, search how to do this, and if you need help, come back to this video again and learn how to do it. If you want to learn how to make a project and a file, go back in the playlist for the previous videos I've made, and then you'll be able to learn from there. So, this is it.